this is a two view lower leg or tib fib tibia fibula and on this particular image you do have to make sure that you're getting the knee joint and the ankle joint so we have to kind of find a happy medium now I have increased my SID on this to 43 inches to accommodate uh, the length of um, the long bone. We do want to make sure here that the malleoli are perpendicular here, uh, or excuse me, parallel to our image receptor, perpendicular to our central ray, and again we want a good uh, knee joint. So we do want to make sure that we've got both malleoli in its entirety. The image receptor will be about the corner of it. We're using it in a diagonal, so it'll be about the center of the knee joint posteriorly. So you can see we've got collimation open to ensure that we're getting both corners here of the image receptor. So from here we're going to go ahead and turn our patient into a lateral. This is a mediolateral lateral. lateral. I'm going to get you to slide down here a little bit for me, a little bit more. I'm going to flex your knee just a little bit. I want you to slide down some more. All right, so over here I'm palpating the medial malleolus, so I know I've got the lateral ones a little bit longer, and I've got quite a bit of distance here. I'm going to bend the knee just a little bit, and then I'm going to have you slide down just a little bit more. All right. So I'm going to turn my collimator box. Collimation is going to remain the same. I know you can't see it from here, but I've got clearly the knee joint, popliteal creases right here, and I can see I've got my light field. Uh, both, again, malleoli need to be on the image. If you clip the malleolus uh, or the knee joint, you are going to be uh, repeating this particular position. So this is a two-view lower extremity or tib fib.